She wears the mask to protect herself from COVID, but wants protection for her and her staff from abuse. It's unacceptable. I'm going to continue working uh, to stand against this, but I, I, it does have to stop. On Thursday, a man showed up here at McKenna's constituency office. He rang the doorbell, and when a female staff member opened the door and told him that he couldn't come inside and speak to the minister because of COVID-19, he then went on a tirade. Can I speak with Catherine? No. Profanities and threats filmed and posted online over the weekend, taking on a new okay, life. A I don't go to work every day and bust my for this to steal our money. You're all eggs. You're all pieces of I think we need to hold social media platforms uh, to account. The video was circulated. Uh, it gave more voice uh, to whoever this person is uh, and to folks uh, that want to spread hate and want to intimidate folks. I worry about the rising tide of incitements to violence. Last year, Canada's former top public servant warned about exactly this. When people use terms like treason and traitor in open discourse, those are the words that lead to assassination. Hello, Mr. Last year, Justin Trudeau was seen wearing a bulletproof vest on the campaign trail over security threat. Last month, police arrested an armed man after he rammed his truck through the gates at Rideau Hall and made his way on foot towards Trudeau's house. As for McKenna, she's had to face public displays like this and says there are even more disturbing incidents happening to politicians privately. It is accelerating and I think that we've seen a lot of what's happened south of the border come up here and it is exacerbated by social media. She's increasing her security and says she's all for social media, but not this. Ashley Burke, CBC News, Ottawa.